This is My Child Will Thrive, and I'm your host, Tara Hunkin, nutritional therapy practitioner, certified GAPS practitioner, restorative wellness practitioner, and mother. I'm thrilled to share with you the latest information, tips, resources, and tools to help you on the path to recovery for your child with ADHD, autism, sensory processing disorder, or learning disabilities. My own experiences with my daughter, combined with as much training as I can get my hands on, research I can dig into, and conferences I can attend, have helped me to develop systems and tools for parents like you who feel overwhelmed trying to help their children. So sit back as I share another great topic to help you on your journey. It's episode 15 of the My Child Will Thrive podcast, and here's what's coming up. I want to thank Dr. Perlmutter for joining us today. Um, Dr. Perlmutter, you're a board-certified neurologist and a fellow of the American College of Nutrition. What, what, I'd love, what I'd love to know is how did you go from your traditional medical training to get into this field where you're talking about the microbiome? In a word, I would say dissatisfaction <laughs> led to... Um, you know, I've been a neurologist for over 30 years, and um, in the practice of neurology, I think I really became somewhat dismayed and disenchanted with what we were doing. It was pretty much a diagnose and adios kind of scenario where we were, you know, offering up medications to treat symptoms, but never really paying any attention to what is the underlying cause of whatever problem that patient had. Before we get started today with today's interviews, I want to remind you that the information provided on, in the interviews and on the website of the Autism, ADHD, and Sensory Processing Disorder Summit is for information and educational purposes only. It's not intended to diagnose or treat your child and is not a substitute for working with a qualified practitioner. There are many gifted, passionate, and knowledgeable practitioners with hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours of clinical experience. Part of our goal is to give you the knowledge and tools you need to effectively advocate for your child. No one knows your child better than you. No one knows your child's history and can better judge what's normal and abnormal for your child better than you. The greatest success in recovery comes with a parent being informed and asking the right questions and making the best decisions for their child in coordination with a team of qualified practitioners in their different areas of specialty. Now let's get on with the interviews. Today, we have an interview with Dr. David Pullmutter. Dr. Pullmutter is a board certified neurologist, fellow of the American College of Nutrition and four time New York Times bestselling author. He received his MD degree from the University of Miami School of Medicine, where he was awarded the Leonard G. Roundtree Research Award. He was published extensively in peer-reviewed scientific journals, including the Archives of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and the Journal of Applied Nutrition, and is a frequent lecturer at symposia sponsored by such medical institutions as Columbia University, Scripps Institute, New York University, and Harvard University. He serves as an associate professor at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Dr. Promoter has been interviewed on many nationally syndicated television programs, including 2020, Larry King Live, CNN, Fox News, Fox and Friends, The Today Show, Oprah, The Dr. Oz Show, The CBS Early Show. He is the recipient of the Linus Pauling Award for his innovative approaches to to, to neurological disorders, and he's the recipient of the 2006 National Nutrition Foods Association Clinician of the Year Award and was awarded the Humanitarian of the Year Award from the American College of Nutrition in 2010. In 2015, Dr. Perlmutter was awarded both the Media Award from the American College of Nutrition and the Healthy Living Award from the Invisible Disabilities Association. Dr. Perlmutter's books have been published in 28 languages, including Grain Brain, The Surprising Truth About Wheat, Carbs and Sugar, with over 1 million copies in print. Other New York Times bestsellers include Brain Maker, The Grain Brain Cookbook, and his most recent book, The Grain Brain Whole Life Plan, which was, came out in November of 2016. Today in this interview with him, you'll, you'll learn that neurological symptoms that result in autistic-like symptoms are not necessarily brain-related. Our gut bacteria manufacture some of the 
very important chemistry that has a dramatic and instantaneous effect on how the brain works. You'll learn how dietary fiber has been correlated with a child's ability to maintain attention and focus, how gram-negative organisms and lipopolysaccharides trigger inflammatory cytokines and impact neurological function and neurodevelopmental disorders like autism, how glyphosate its impact on the microbiome and what measures you can take to avoid it, the impact of gliadin protein in gluten on the gut lining and the role of leaky gut in brain-based disorders, and the microbiome's role in mitochondrial dysfunction and how to rebalance the propionate to butyrate helps restore function, which is a problem in our ch with our children, and so much more. I hope you enjoy today's talk and I look forward to hearing your comments uh, below. So actually bringing it back to just talking about the acid blocking drugs, that, that's something that um, a number of the kids suffer from is uh, reflux issues and they are often um, prescribed an acid, uh, you know, PPIs in order to take away those symptoms. What, um, when a parent comes in and has a child with reflux, what would your recommendations typically be to avoid um, taking drugs. Sure, like let me first say that you bring up a really good point, and that is that uh, a lot of these children have all kinds of gastrointestinal issues. We all know that. I would bet everybody watching this summit ha knows exactly what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, oftentimes uh, when you take a, a, a history, mom and dad will say, you know, we got our baby home from the hospital, and the first thing we noted was uh, he wouldn't eat or that she had diarrhea or was constipated and had this terrible foul smelling uh, stool and gas and all this stuff that they didn't see with their other child so they know it wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. And it, it's unfair and inappropriate and narrow-minded to be dismissive about those comments because it's telling us that there's a gut issue here. Again, viewers of this summit know exactly what we're mm -hmm. talking about. We can't just say, oh, that just happens to be something that this child has as well. No, it's playing a fundamental role. It's screaming to us that that might be where we should be looking. So having a reflux uh, can be uh, approached by making dietary changes, but making dietary changes and other interventions to try to put the gut bacteria where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Reaching for a proton pump inhibitor changes the pH, not just of the stomach, but of the entire gastrointestinal system, meaning it changes the environment of the, uh, that the gut microbes live in, mm -hmm. and it will select out certain populations to do better in that changed pH, and other populations will do worse. So we're changing the balance, and that can have lifelong consequences. Thanks for listening to the My Child Will Thrive podcast. I'm so passionate about giving you the tools and information you need to help your child. For access to the full interview as part of the Autism, ADHD, and Sensory Processing Disorder Summit, please go to mychildwillthrive.com forward slash summit. This is Tara Hunkin, and I will catch you on the next episode.